From Chicago's NBC5, this is NBC5 News. The slow recovering economy may have many wondering if they'll be okay in the retirement years. Well, Josh Kadish, partner at Retirement Planning Group, is here to tell us the right way to plan. And Josh was actually just named Chicago Magazine's five star wealth manager for 2010. Congratulations on that. Thank you very much. Boy, a lot to cover, so let's just get right to it. And thanks for being here, especially in the snow. First off, you say determine your net worth. What do we need to do? Well, determining your net worth is basically taking an inventory of everything that you have and what you own, savings, checking, CDs, real estate, and subtracting out what you owe, any mortgages or credit card debt, student loans, and things of that nature. Okay, so you need a nugget to work with. Um, what about minimizing debt, and you're saying trying to boost your reserves so hard when you have an economy like this? Absolutely. Um, minimizing your debt, certainly going into retirement, you want to make sure you don't have a lot standing over your head. So trying to reduce the amount that you owe is extremely important. And as you're entering retirement, we also want to make sure that you have enough cash on the sidelines to make sure that you can pay for any unforeseen expenses. Okay, and what is the key way to reduce your debt, especially later in life when things may be changing income-wise? I think it's really looking at what we're spending on and making sure that we're putting money towards the right places. Okay. What about refinancing a mortgage? You've been in your house a long time, what do you do? You know, interesting, a lot of people don't realize once you stop working, it's very difficult to get a mortgage. So while you're still working, look at considering mm -hmm. refinancing because you may be paying higher rates or not be able to get a mortgage when retirement. Okay, and as you move toward these years, why and how do you revise any strategy in terms of investing? Well, the way that you managed your money the first 30 years during your working years uh -huh. is much different than the next 30 years when you're going to be focusing on how you get income from those investments. Okay, so the key thing, the first thing you want to do to tackle that area would be? I would say revisit your risk mm -hmm. and revisit where the money is going to be coming from. Okay, um, you say review your estate plan. Review your estate plan. This is protecting what you have while you're here, wills, trusts, in the event you are incapacitated, maybe having durable powers of attorney for property and health care. These are documents that can help protect you and your family while you're here and make things a lot easier in the event you're not. And you absolutely have to have one, correct? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, what about the big picture? Where do you want to think about where you're headed at this point? I think you have to take an inventory of first where you are and where you want to get to. So think of it kind of as a road map. Mm -hmm. The big picture is I need to get from here to there, but I really need to know specifically for my situation how much I might need and how I'm going to get it. Mm -hmm. I guess write it all down. You need that map. Just like when you're going anywhere, you need Absolutely. the map or GPS or whatever it is. And what about the whole budgeting idea? Budgeting leads into the big picture. You have to have realistic goals and expectations of how much you may be spending in retirement. So it's also a good idea to look at how much you're spending now so that you can anticipate costs that might come up. And a lot of people fail to realize you need to take into account gifts, taxes, vacations, maybe a new car, and things like that. Gee, the work never ends, does it? You it know? doesn't. It's supposed to be funded retirement. <laughs> it's supposed to give up all the work. Josh, thank you so much for being thank with us. Thank you for having me. Be safe out there in this weather. Appreciate it. All right, thank you.